Hey, hey, where are you taking my furniture? Then I should have spent it years ago. Hey. Oh, yes. That's the last loose end. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Do you see what's happening out there? There's two Puerto Rican guys in the truck. They're ripping off my sofa. They'll bring it back. They're just storing the furniture while they're setting up for the party. Oh, but... Hey, what's your end, buddy? <clears throat> I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. I knew you was going to go overboard on me. Archie, it's going to be lovely. You know I hate lovely. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you do with the chair? Maurice says everything's got to go. Oh, yeah? Who the hell is Maurice? Our caterer from the club. Good. Hey, look, do I leave it or move it? You leave move it. it. <laughs> Make up your mind, will you? I get paid to move. Move your bus. Well, then, uh, just take the table, and that'll be all for now. Why can't you cooperate? That's another word I hate, you know, cooperate. <laughs> Hey, come on, we've got to get ready for Temple. Yeah, sure, I know, but who moved the brown pants to the suit I was going to wear? I know nothing about your brown pants. Mrs. Harris, I... Why is that revolting chair still here? Because it happens to be supporting a gentleman who's the head of this household, and here it will stay. And you can tell that your fag caterer, Maurice. He just did. <laughs> oh, you're a color guy, are you? <laughs> hey, listen, uh, no intense offended there. I just wanted to tell you that the florist is on his way over, and uh, in the meantime, I'll be out back. Uh, flitting about. <laughs> While he's flitting about there, why don't he just close the door, huh? The heat is escaping. It costs us money. Hi, Arch. Oh, my God. Floyd Mills. Dad. Steffi. Dad. I don't believe it. It's nice to see you again, honey. Well, uh, Floyd, as you can see, we're uh, very busy here at the moment, you know. Uh, maybe you could uh, go away and come back some other time in the future. Uncle Archie, I want to see him now. Do something, man. Huh? I'd like to. Well, all right, Floyd, uh, come on in there for a moment or two here. But uh, listen, I, uh, I got to warn you right up front that we ain't got to drop a booze in the house. It's no problem, Arch. I'm dry. I heard that song before. Nice to see you, Mrs. Harris. There's Archie. We ought to get ready to go. What's going on? Well, um... Oh, Mrs. Camby, Billy, this is my father. My, my real father. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Same here. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to go upstairs and get dressed. Me too. I'll see you all later at the temple. Uh, you see, Floyd, everybody is dispersing, so uh, maybe you can take a hint. Huh? What do you mean, Arch? I'm, I'm here for my daughter's bat mitzvah. How did you find out about that? Cousin Sophie. She saw the invitation you sent to Aunt Louise. Oh, well, this is your doing. You and your fancy and grave invitations. You couldn't use a phone. Believe me, Floyd was not on my guest list. Yeah, well, I can see I'm not welcome here. I guess I came all the way up from Miami for nothing, huh? No, you didn't. Right, Uncle Archie? Well, listen, kiddo, you know, the whole thing has been planned out there and everything's accounted for down to the last hunk of locks and... I just don't think we can handle one more uninvited guest. I wanted to invite him. I told you, we didn't know where he was. This time, your Uncle Archie is right. Steffi, um, Archie and your grandma have good reasons to resent me. Huh? You, you've done some rotten things, Floyd. Yeah, well, I was hoping that we could put all that behind us now, because I'm beginning to turn my life around. Oh, Morris, oh, come on, will you? We're having a family crisis here. 